Hello everybody, I have finished my seahorse book and I am happy to bring it to you and share it with you. So this is a book in a box. This is a box that I picked up while I was on my journeys down in California. Don't remember where I got it. It might have been Target, but it was only a dollar for the box. So this is a seahorse theme. This was made from a napkin. Ta-da! that I decoupaged on and I added these little beady type things because I thought it made it look a little bit more like bubbles in water. So when you open it up, this used to be yellow, I went ahead and I painted it and to, you know, just give it more of a muted color to go with the rest of my book. Sweet little seahorses on each side, pulls out and with a little surprise on the bottom. That's a fabulous uh, paper pad that I picked up from, uh, oh, I think it was Hobby Lobby. Here's my book. I put just a little piece of vellum behind there. I'm also probably going to add a note when I send it off. And I just tucked in a little seahorse to add a little bit fun to it. The book itself is about four and a half inches, I believe. About four and a half by six and three quarters ish. I have lace that I've placed over the spine. And just a nice plain little ribbon to open it up and to see what's inside. So when we open it up, the first thing we see on the inside, once again, is the seahorses. So what I have done with this book also, as I was finishing up, I realized um, it needed something a little bit extra. And so what I did, and I don't know if it's picking up, I put glitter, glitter glue on the pages. And it kind of gave it just that feeling, that magical feeling that water gets. So I really like how that turned out, adding, adding that element to it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and flip through. We've got turtles, little bling type things put around to kind of make it look like things that are just in the water. I like the fun, bright little things that I have inside. Here's a seahorse that I have on the doily. I tried to place seahorses around it as well as other little creatures. These are pockets with just cards that can be written on. On each side, I made them different sizes just to add a little bit of eye um, differences for your eyes to see. Sweet little hearts along those ties. And here we have another tuck with various pieces in there. And this one, just little, little lines, just a really faded color. The paper that I used in this book also was... Um, from my mother's peach tree. I, as we were blanching the peaches, I saved the water and then I dyed the paper with that. So a little turtles again and a piece of uh, baker's paper. A, a shell and just little tuck things around. This one actually opens up. It's a pocket. I took and placed paper on the back side of this double-sided paper so that can be written on too. And turning, this is just plain stamping, and I have glitter on these. Actually, I have glitter on all the pages. I've just, I've just added it. It just added such fun. Kind of gave it a bubbly type feel to it. It also, little tucks here that can all be written on. Little pocket here full of sweet little tucks that can be written on. A uh, little pocket here. I thought that was just fun. It reminded me like of a mermaid or a fish or something. Just like how it catches the light. It's just fun. Uh, I created kind of a wave-like cut to this page, turning it, and you can still see the little little critter there, and then I have little blings placed. Since this was a more um, colorful, just, uh, just a fun, bright, cheerful type thing, I tried to do different things in it that I wouldn't have done in a vintage type feeling book. Card pull out here, and a little tuck here with cards in it. Reminds me of a, a boardwalk. And this is a piece that I just kind of cut in half and folded to create a little pocket right in the middle. This is just a flip and that I tuck things behind it. This is the baker's paper, but it's also a great paper to write on. And little bubbles that all have glitter on them as well. It's fun. Nice glittery paper there. And this would actually be, these are pieces that I cut out from a napkin and then individually mod podge them on. That's the other side of the doily. And there's the back, once again, visiting our turtle. And then there's some little tucks right here that appear to be a little bit glued down. I think I'm going to have to replace that one. And then we get to the back. So that is my book. It's a sweet little thing, and I just love how it fits so nicely within this box. So what I'm also doing 
because I do have um, leftovers from everything that I collected. I'm putting together little kits for anyone that's interested in making a little seahorse under the water, under the sea type thing. I'm going to have the various pieces that I have that were in the book. So if you're interested, I'm going to have this on my Etsy shop and they'll be there just as long as they the supplies last there you know so try to help me cut down on building up too much stuff so anyway i hope you guys have a great day i hope you enjoyed the book and i will see you again another time thanks for watching bye